Welcome to the fascinating world of space agriculture, where even the simplest of tasks can become a challenging adventure. Join us as we delve into the unique experience of growing and losing tomatoes in space, highlighting the challenges and humor of conducting experiments in a zero-gravity environment. Nearly a year ago, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio shared the story of two rogue tomatoes that went missing aboard the International Space Station, ISS. In the lack of gravity, Rubio had accidentally lost the fruit while harvesting for the exposed root on orbit test system, X-Roots Experiment, a soil-less plant experiment. During his record-breaking 371-day mission aboard the space station in 2022, Rubio conducted the first ever soilless plant experiment, resulting in the first tomatoes ever grown in space or harvested on the ISS. In an interview, Rubio shared the humorous accusations of people suspecting him of eating the lost tomatoes. He described the pride of harvesting the first tomato in space and the disappointment of losing it, spending hours searching for it. Months after Rubio's return to Earth, Expedition 70 crew members closed the case by recovering the dehydrated and slightly squished tomatoes. The crew joked that Rubio did not eat the tomatoes as they suspected. The rogue tomatoes from the X-Roots experiment will not be returning to Earth for analysis as they were discarded, according to NASA. This peculiar case highlights the challenges and experiences of conducting agricultural experiments in space. Growing food aboard the International Space Station is crucial for long-duration spaceflight missions to the Moon and Mars. The psychological benefits of gardening in space are also significant, increasing astronauts' quality of life and morale. Research aboard the space station is advancing the technology and scientific knowledge needed to successfully grow plants in space, ultimately helping humans push the boundaries of space travel and improving plant growth on Earth.